All right, guys, so today what we're going to do is we're going to go over what, in my opinion, is the best milestone dirt bike game ever made. Uh, before we get to that, though, I do want to go over a handful of other games by milestone that I definitely could see players saying is their favorite. Uh, the first one is MXGP1. This is the OG MXGP game. Uh, Mud was the game before this, and that was a very cartoon, gimmicky kind of game. I mean, you had a push-button whip, an actual push-button whip to gain speed. Um, so it was a very cartoon game, right? And then they came out with this game, and it was so much better. It was just much more of a simulation and, and more realistic. And then I could see players saying MXGP2. This game, I felt like, was better than MXGP1. Graphics were better. Gameplay was still really good. They changed the way the, the physics were. They started the push button, uh, not push button, uh, push the sticks together, pull them apart whip. And we had way better customization. We got the first real compound, I guess, in the, the milestone games. And it was just fun. I had probably more time in MXGP2 than any other milestone game simply because we did a full 250 career and 450 career but very solid game and definitely could see people think this would be the best one or maybe it's MXGP Pro this game I felt so many different ways about this game when it came out I enjoyed it then I didn't think it was very good and then after what we've gotten recently in the last few years coming back to this game it's actually a lot better than I remember it being it's a solid game it's fun the the only problem I really had with this game was it still felt like sometimes you would crash or go down on pro physics for for no real reason it kind of felt like it was weird uh, like in a corner or, or something um, that was the biggest problem I had with this game but very good very good game probably one of the better mxgp games ever made so again could see why you would choose this game or maybe it's this anybody remember yeah uh-huh pretty famous game this is supercross one the first of the supercross games and mxgp3 would have been before this game so i wasn't really sure how well a supercross game would translate to actually happening and how the physics would work from from milestone but they did a great job this was in my opinion one of the best supercross games ever made one of the best games in general by milestone had a great track editor probably the best track editor out of any game from them and they've gotten worse since then and great gameplay great customization just a very very good job on this game so another game I definitely could see somebody saying is the best or maybe it's this one right here Supercross 3 in my opinion right now the best Supercross game made still um, they changed the the game from the ground up yes they still do have the push the sticks together whip but it was quite a bit different from any Supercross game even MXGP game we had we had gotten before this so um, yeah, very solid game, and I could see why this might be your favorite milestone dirt bike game of all time. But, this is, or these aren't my personal favorite milestone game ever made. This is my favorite, no, wait, <laughs> this is mud, my bad, no. Mud, while it was an okay game and, and could have or, or be fun, no, this is not it. My bad. Um, let's take this back. Hold on. Let's rewind. Okay, let me see if I can find it. Let me find the video. Give me a second. Okay, this is uh, my favorite milestone dirt bike game ever made. Probably some people. We're already thinking it was going to be this game because it hadn't been named at the beginning. And I, I feel like it's pretty unanimous that MXGP3 is one of the best games by Milestone. 
but in my opinion, it would be the best game. It was close, I mean, it was pretty close, but recently I went back and played every Milestone game, uh, dirt bike game, and yeah, I mean, Supercross 3 and 1 and um, MXGP 1, 2 and Pro were fun, and I enjoyed it, but this was the only game that I wanted to stay in the game and keep playing. It was fun, it, it still holds up today. In my opinion, it's as good or better than any games we get today. This had a great balance between simulation and arcade. Milestone has kind of gotten that, that name of Simcade, where it's kind of in between. Um, I felt like this game probably leaned maybe a bit more towards arcade. And yeah, some of the newer games, MXGP 2021, um, MXGP 2019, I know some people really enjoyed those games and, and they definitely were not my favorite. Graphics were probably better. Maybe the bike sounds, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, they had track editor, but MXGP games have had really bad track editors. Um, Supercross is way better. And even Supercross though, the track editor keeps getting worse. I mean, it just, the fun factor of this game is so much better. I would give up track editor, some customization, if Milestone could get back to making a fun game. The fun factor of this game was outstanding. It was the best, in my opinion, again, in my opinion, it was the best out of any Milestone game we've gotten. Even a game such as, for example, Supercross 1 or 3 or whatever. Yes, they were fun games and great games and some of the best from Milestone, but I just don't feel like they have the fun factor that this game had. This game actually, and I know MXGP 2021 kind of does it, but this game, the ruts, you could actually hook into the ruts to some degree. And after you'd run a decent amount of laps, if you took that same line, it was faster. It was just better. Um, the customization was great. Again, the graphics could be better. I am playing on PC, and the load times were really, really bad on console on this game. So, there were some negatives to it for sure, but overall, I mean, no track editor. But again, I would give it up to have a fun game again. Milestone doesn't necessarily need to remaster MXGP3, but they need to try to find the fun that they put into this game. It felt like they cared so much more when they were making this game or Supercross 1 or MXGP2. The changes were there. Yes, the push the sticks together whip kind of sucks, but it was okay in this game. I was fine with it. It was fun and it was different. It's time to make some changes, stop the copy and paste and the what feels like at times to be lazy. It's time to, to put more effort into it. Get the players to enjoy the games again and try to give them more of a lifespan, a longer lifespan such as this game had. And then the players will be happy and probably be more than happy to, to support you. You know, Milestone is what I'm saying. So um, they just have to make a fun game. We don't know if we're getting MXGP 2022, at least when making this video, there has been no news of it. Um, I do have a video coming about some news, but not that. So we don't know. Maybe they're skipping out on MXGP or um, we, we just don't know. I mean, they haven't said anything. They won't respond. I know some people have been asking about it, but they just have been very tight-lipped about it. They don't... I don't know. I don't know if that means it's going to come and just drop or if they just don't plan on making one this year and... Maybe they take a year off, maybe they're done. I mean, maybe they make a World Supercross game. That would be pretty cool if the physics and the gameplay were fun. Maybe they make a Super Motocross game, right? That, whoa, that would be crazy. I mean, Supercross and Motocross in one game, even if MX versus ATV is doing the replicas and doing a great job at it, it would be cool if both companies could do it. It would be cool. So 
Let me know in the comments what you guys think, your opinions on it, what is your favorite game, what do you think Milestone's going to do, are we getting MXGP this year, or are they done, or are they taking a year off, what are your opinions on them making a world supercross game, or a super motocross game, I would be very curious to see, but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing, thank you so much for the support on the channel lately, it really does mean a lot, and until the next video, take it easy.